All right, guys, let's talk about acceleration. You have a car over here, and let's say that this car is speeding up. It's getting faster and faster and faster, and each second, it's going three meters per second faster than it was before. So suppose it starts out going 10 meters per second after one second, it's going at 13 meters per second. And in that case, we would say that the acceleration is three meters per second per second. That means in each second, the speed increases by three meters per second. So in every second, we get three more meters per second. We write that as three meters per second per second. Now, there's another way you'll see this written. You'll see it sometimes written as three meters per second per second, and sometimes you'll see it as written as three meters per second squared. Let's, let, let me explain the math behind that. Uh, and if, you, if you're not comfortable with dividing fractions and, and, and all that, let your teacher know. Let's build up those skills. You're going to need that for physics a lot. But if you are comfortable with dividing fractions, let's take a look at why that works. Three meters per second per second means basically three meters per second divided by second. So you have three meters over second times one over second, dividing by S and multiplying by one over S is the same thing. And then on the top, we get three meters. And on the bottom, you get a second times second, which is second squared. So this becomes three meters per second squared. So whether you look at it as three meters per second squared or three meters per second per second, it's the same thing. And it tells you how many meters per second it's speeding up each second.